All right. How's it going, everybody? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire upload today. Fun stuff. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm having a great day. I'm just getting started with my day here. I'm trying to get ready for school to start because we're starting school early this year. And you know what that means? We're going to have our upload schedule be the same as it has been in the past, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mostly, I would imagine. If not, then I'll have an extra video in between. But that's not going to be the focus of this video. This video is another epic battle where we face off against Luca. And, man, this was a fantastic battle. Um, so on my end, we have a weird Electivire set. This is Overdrive, the Electivire. And, um... I use him over Janarago this time because I can. Because, like, you know, why would you want to use the same Pokemon? You know, I wanted to change the pace up. So, Overdrive, the Electivire. We have a physically based Venusaur. Finally, I was able to get one of these. Gah, it's, it's great. It's great. Uh, it has growth. Well, technically, it's not physical. The base is it's a special set, too, so it has Growth, Petal Blizzard, Knock Off, and Sludge Bomb. So it's mostly physical. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use him. Hag Power. Hag Power. The Agron. And this thing is, you know, Rock Head. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Head Smash everywhere. That's what we're going to do with Agron. Then we have Vivian with the Quiver Dance, Hurricane, Bug Buzz, and a Sleep Powder, I think, on this particular Vivian. And then we have a Defensive Dustclops. After what you're going to see in this battle, guys, I need to bring Dustclops to more battles because holy moly, this thing can take hits. With max HP, max physical defense, with the Eevee-like item to boost its defenses even further. Now we're talking. And last but not least, I'm going to try out Carbink. And let me tell you something, okay? Carbink is not a good Pokemon to use in competitive play. I like its design, but its move pool is rather shallow, you know? It's, it's not very good. Good on the offensive side, it does get access to like the screens, like light screen and reflect. It does get power gem, but it's rather weak, if you ask me. Even if you EV train it and attack, it's still not going to do enough damage. So we're going to use Carbink and Dust Claws as our main defensive core in conjunction with the Agron, the Vivian and Venusaur and um, Electivire is there just for, you know, scouting and whatnot. So that's enough for my team. Let's go over Luca's team. The main threat is Volcarona. If that thing sets up a quiver dance or two, we're dead. So if we can take out Volcarona, whew, we're gonna be just fine. And then we look and we see Eevee. Who brings an Eevee? This is just like Raikata with the Fear Sky here where it has a Focus Sash, uses Endeavor, Quick Attack, you're dead. So, yeah, I'm expecting this Eevee to be the exact same thing. Uh, of course, we have Skarmory to deal with, Roserade, Flygon. If that thing's choice Scarf, we're going to be in some major trouble. But you know, we're going to be just fine with Dust Clops, because I think we can go with Will-O-Wisp to burn it, and we can also burn the Azumarill and the Skarmory. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So I hope you guys stick towards the end of my awesome analysis. Now we can get to the battle. So here we go. Enjoy. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so we're going to start with Overdrive, the Electrifier. And then you guess who my opponent does start with Skarmory, as expected. I'm expecting him to set up some Skullthrops. 
flashback, uh, we see he's carrying the Rocky helmet. He goes for Whirlwind on turn one, which I thought that was odd. He could have just gone for a Stealth Rock, and then he could have Whirlwind me out. That would have been a much better option there, in my opinion. Uh, but he drags me into Dust Clops, and we're going to go with a Will-O-Wisp Gabarnik. If he has Brave Bird or Drill Pack or Earthquake or something, I don't know if he gets Earthquake, but you know, his attacking power is cut down short, which is awesome. Unfortunately, since I don't have a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger, those Stealth Ops are going to hurt my team a little bit there. Now, I knew he had Roost. Uh, Roost is a common move on Skarmory nowadays. We're going to give Levantis another shot here. I've used Carbink, I think, one time, and that was two years ago. So, and that's just telling you how much I hate that Pokemon. Nice design, but the move pool, it just, it's not going to work out for me, in my opinion. But uh, We do set up a Reflect and Light Screen. I'm expecting this Roserade to go with, you know, I wasn't expecting Toxic Spikes, uh, but I was expecting like a sleep powder or something like that. But we're gonna go with a knockoff here. Just get rid of that leftovers. He has a lot of Pokemon with leftovers. Now that I think about it, because like I went through this battle before I started recording and I just noticed he has a lot of Pokemon with leftovers. So knockoff is going to be important. I really thought that a plus one Petal Blizzard would do the trick. That was a massive uh, misplay for Venusaur there. I just go for a knockoff. I think he was expecting another Petal Blizzard. But I'm happy I did that because I got rid of his Rocky Helmet, so that's good. I'm going to stay in. I'm hoping that this knockoff would take him out, but he barely holds on. He gets to go with another Roost. Man, can you see how annoying Skarmory is? And even if he's burnt, it's still a drag to deal with. So basically, I'm going to stay in here, go with a couple of knockoff attacks, just trying to force the Skarmory out. He can't really do much to me because he's burned, obviously, and, you know, he could not just stay in, you know, stall me out. There's no point in doing that. So here is head power. Head smash everything, because at this point, a head smash is going to kill something. So this Agron is going to go with a head smash. Um, it's too bad that I don't have a Sturdy, because if I had Sturdy, yes, it'll be taking recoil damage if you use head smash, but, you know, it, there are those trade-offs, you know. Um, so I'm going to sacrifice King of Sora. We get to get rid of the Toxic Spikes and the Rose Raid set up. We want to see what this Azumarill is going to go for. He goes for Waterfall. So I'm happy that he didn't go for the, um, what's that move? Um, Belly Drum. Because if he went for that Belly Drum, it's going to be GG. Now here I go with another Will-O-Wisp. It's okay if I cash uh, Roserade. It's not a big deal. Uh, he does have Natural Cure, I'm assuming, because he can just switch out and get rid of it whenever he feels like it. Now, the only Pokemon that is going to be okay going to sleep at this point of the battle is going to be Dusclops. So, this way, my other Pokemon will not be able to go to sleep, because you, you can only put one Pokemon to sleep at a time. Now it's the time to go into Vivian, and man, Vivian taking that much damage, not only from the Stealth Ops, but the, the, uh, the Giga Drain. And oh my gosh, did, did you see that? Did you see that? Vivian has compound eyes, and it misses a hurricane. When does that ever happen? Just in case I miss it again for some weird reason, I'm going to stay and go to Bug Buzz this time, and we knock out Roserade, so... I don't know how that works. Uh, we're going to see Eevee go with Quick Attack, and there you go. That's what I'm talking about with Eevee, with the Quick Attack shenanigans. But seriously, though, Vivian missing a Hurricane? That was so uncalled for. But that's okay. We're going to go into Hag Power. We're going to go with uh, an Earthquake. And did you see that as well? Because, man, Earthquake does not do anything. 
And um, Eevee is faster than Agron, it looks like. He has curse and baby doll eyes. Good strategy. It's a great strategy to, you know, use Eevee in a competitive match, because, you know. And we see I overpredicted, or not, not really overpredict, but like I left an aggro on a die where I could have just gone to my car bank for that fogger. I don't know. It, it, it's tough to tell. Now, here's where I made a huge misplay. I go into overdrive. I really, really should have, um, I have no words, guys. I have no words. I have no explanation for that. He did miss a Draco Meteor. I'm thinking he's going to do that again. We're going to go into Levantis. But he just smartly chooses to go with an Earth Power. And I realized that was a bad misplay. I don't know why I wanted to overdrive like that on a Flygon. My guess is that I had Ice Punch, but I didn't have it. I had Fire Punch instead. Wasn't paying attention. Man, that's going to cost me and my overdrive. <sighs> so, um, Dustclops is a great answer to this thing, because you see how much an Earth Power is doing to dust crops and it's not going to do that much. I'm really hoping, because I know I can live any other move, even if it's a Draco Meteor, I can definitely survive it. We hold on with QHP. Gosh, that was close. I'm really hoping I can wake up here and go with Pain Split. That's the whole idea behind it. And we get to share some of the suffering that the dust crops is going through. Like, oh, yeah, spread the love around, Dustclops, and we hold on again. This is awesome. See what I mean with Dustclops? This thing is power on the defensive standpoint. It's going to take hits for days, and we go with another Nightshade. Nightshade is really good. But holy moly, holy moly, we see Volcarona. And this thing is setting up a quiver dance. This is bad. This is bad. And we're going to go with the pain spot. He could have just gone with a fire type move or something like that. Hopefully he gets the special attack boost from Fiery Dance. There's a possibility of doing that, but he just goes for the Quiver Dance first. But, you know, a plus one Quiver Dance boosted. Even that I can take. So, Dustclops, you're the MVP of this battle for sure. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit too late as this... Volcarona is going to take out the rest of my team members. I don't have anyone faster than it. So, gosh darn it. That was still a great battle, though. Uh, just, you know, over playing it with Electrifier. I don't know if that's the right word for it. I, I guess I misused a couple Pokemon in this fight. You all know what I'm talking about, right? Just doing that, it's not good. So we lose. I can take that loss. It's okay. We're going to just coop our losses and hope for a nice fight in which we will win, hopefully. And I uh, hope you guys stick around for another battle here soon. So hope you all enjoyed the battle, and I will see you next time. All right, goodbye, trainers.